A little Italy neighborhood just north of downtown was originally home mostly to southern Italians. It was the northern Italians who lived on the hill. But over time, those distinctions began to fade because immigrant groups were lumped together by language, not by region. So Sicilians more and more became Italians, just as Bavarians just became Germans. A lot of older Americans grew up with some kind of strong ethnic identity. They may have been Americans through and through themselves, but they heard the old language and accents, and they went to church picnics, to social clubs. Maybe they dressed up and learned the songs and dances and the recipes. It was easy for the later generations to have a romanticized view of the immigrant experience. It's difficult, though, to imagine the emotional, financial, and personal pressures and problems that so many people had to face and still do. They often make it not on personal strength alone, but on the support of those who are already here. St. Louis has this reputation of being a place that's sometimes difficult for newcomers to break into. You know, the old, where did you go to high school thing? Which is interesting, because from its earliest days, the city has been the destination of waves of immigrants and newcomers from all over the United States and the world. Fortunately, there have always been people here in St. Louis who have been working to make the move here just a little bit easier. Kingdom House began as a Methodist church settlement house, serving the poor, primarily immigrants, who had made it as far as the American heartland, but still had a long way to go before enjoying the security and prosperity they hoped to find here. So you've been down here in the LaSalle neighborhood since, what, 1902? Yes, Kingdom House has been here since 1902, 101 years. Pretty much doing the same kinds of work? The same kinds of work, serving low-income families, particularly newcomers, uh, immigrants, but particularly those that are low-income and uh, needing a place to meet and uh, services to get started on a new life. In 1902, most of Kingdom House's clients were Syrian and Lebanese immigrants. As the years passed, people's places of origin changed, but their needs remained much the same. A number of other groups uh, through the 40s uh, from rural America coming into the city, uh, working particularly in the industries for the war efforts in the 1940s. Uh, African Americans coming here in larger numbers. Uh, most recently, in the last several years, we've had uh, the largest single groups that we're seeing are from Somalia, Afghanistan, and, and quite a large number of uh, Hispanic immigrants into South St. Louis. Kingdom House provides the same general kinds of services it has from the beginning, all geared to helping families become economically self-sufficient and acclimated to a new world. Most in the last oh, 30 or 40 years has been a concentration of people living in public housing projects, particularly here on the near south side. Uh, people are heavy dependence on welfare uh, need, and so our response is a need for uh, job training, child care assistance, things that help people that break the welfare cycle. A family is a family. No matter where you come from or, or what you've been through, you still have some of the same needs. The most um, outstanding thing, of course, that some of the immigrant families will have is the cultural differences and the language barriers. We offer uh, counseling. We offer um, job development and assistance in looking for employment. We do a lot of tutoring at, in our after-school program to try to help the kids with their academic needs. We have a very active sports program. And we have daycare and uh, uh, early head start. Kingdom House offers its clients a food pantry and a thrift shop, but its most far-reaching program is the Federal Senior Companion Program, in which senior volunteers visit the homes of other seniors all around the region to give them some human companionship and maybe provide a light meal. This program takes Kingdom House far beyond the scope of South St. Louis into 29 zip codes, including West County. Older adults like companionship. Most of them are by themselves, families are working, so they don't have anything to do, they get tired of television, so they want a one-on-one, eye-to-eye with someone daily. 
As much as St. Louis has changed over the past 100 years, it remains a city that attracts large numbers of newcomers. Somewhere along the line in a nation of immigrants, a city of immigrants, we all came from someplace else. We all needed some help in getting to wherever we are today. And the help continues. Sometimes when we're having different celebrations, people will come back to the neighborhood and tell me all the wonderful things that Kingdom House has done for them that I didn't know about. People all want the same things. People want to succeed. People are, are down at the, at the time that we're seeing them, but they have the same hopes and dreams as anyone else. And so when we reach a handout, we offer, you know, not a handout in the sense of giving someone, but a hand of sharing that we have the same dreams together. When we work through our communities, we can make everyone uh, share in that same vision.